Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm a sewing specialist here at Fonz & Porter. In this So Easy tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the clamshell template to make projects like this. So our clamshell template is shaped like this. It's got a long open curve at the top, two concave curves along the bottom, and can be cut off of a 10 inch square if you choose to use pre-cuts. Okay, so from this, you would then just simply lay it on to your fabric and cut around the shape. Now what we suggest is use the smaller rotary cutter. The blade surface can go up against those curves and make a nice precise cut. Once you've got your pieces cut and ready to go, the template then can, you can create from your shapes. I created this pillow and we've got a variety of colors and all about placement and a little bit of curved piecing. So along the top edge, we would um, position pieces like this. It's kind of a design and layout as you go. So you kind of have to make a little bit of a plan of your colors knowing that the outer edge of this is going to be trimmed. And I'll show you that on the pillow itself. You see the large clamshells here, but you see there are just portions of clamshells at the very top edge. And along the outer edge, you get half of a clamshell. So know that part of those are going to be trimmed away. But the best thing about it is that cutting them with that template makes a great smooth curve. I've got some already attached and started the design. And I will show you how to set in that next temp uh, shape. So we can use one here. And we want to work on these shapes here. In order to set this in, we put the concave piece on top. I turn this so I can get at the pins to, we're going to we want to match those cut edges together, so we're going to have to do a little bit of a manipulation. We want to pin those cut edges in place, kind of square up that corner. Let's use a pin that's not damaged. There we go. And we want to pin that corner, secure it so that it doesn't wiggle out of the way. And we're going to do the same thing here. Along the top edge, the pieces are going to overlap a bit, but remember, we're going to be trimming away some of that. So those are fine at that point. We're going to do this curve seaming. Curves are a little bit intimidating when we first go to work at them. If you haven't done um, garment construction and haven't done much curve piecing, this can be a little bit daunting. But if you take it step by step and go slow and practice, um, it becomes an easy curve. I had my pin in there and I just took a couple of stitches to hold my uh, fibers or fabrics in place. I took the pin out so I won't damage my needle of my sewing machine. And then I just work my way along the curve, making sure that the cut edges are aligned because I need that quarter inch seam allowance. The curve has been engineered so they fit together perfectly. There's no guesswork on seaming and overlapping there. It's all been done for you. And then the last part of the curve. So we work our way along. The first couple may be a little bit challenging and then use those as your practice pieces. Then jump in and your curve will be nice and smooth. So we approach that last corner with the narrow tip of the clamshell. I'm going to remove my pin and then just go slowly off the end so I keep my quarter inch seam allowance accurate. Okay, my quarter inch seam all along that edge, open it out and press. And like I said, this top edge is going to be trimmed along here, so our overlap here is okay. We're going to be then playing, placing our next piece, and you can do an open curve all the way along this one. As you get more pieces together, you get that long curve so you can piece long pieces at once and create a clamshell. Thanks for joining me today. If you'd like to see more of our So Easy tutorials, please visit our website.